What's going on, guys? Welcome to a modern... Well, I guess we're going to play a league. Uh, we're going to play this Teamer list today, which has four Cloudfin Raptors, four, eight Pongify effects in Rapid Hybridization and Pongify. We have two Spell Pierce, two Vapor Snag, four Lightning Bolt, four Experiment One, four Narnum Renegade, and four Young Wolf, along with two Charter Course, three Avatar of the Resolute, uh, and four Strangroot Geist. Super interesting deck. Um, nothing costs more than two mana, clearly. And I, I imagine we're Pongifying and Rapid Hybridizationing our Strangroot Geists and our Young Wolves in order to uh, make them undie, if that's a verb, and also to get a guy out of it. And that would also evolve things like Cloudfin Raptor or Experiment 1. Unfortunately, uh, it would be some tech if you were able to Pongify your own Experiment 1, regenerate it, and still get a 3-3. And then it gets a counter back. But, unfortunately, it can't be regenerated. So, these also get rid of problematic things like Tassiger or Primeval Titan. I don't know. You know, it's, it's it makes a 3-3, but whatever. So, uh, yeah, we're going to try this out and see how it goes. Nope. I always, I always enter a queue. I'm always like, oh, let's do a queue. Uh, constructed. Let's get uh, leagues. All right, we did it. All right, let's go to modern. And teamer. Oh, who did the CFB video of it? I bet it was Gerard. This feels like a Gerard Fabiano deck. Yeah, your guys mostly turn one Cloudfin into turn two Young Wolf plus Ponga Fly, eight power on board. That's pretty good. Ah, oh, Sam Party. All right, I can see Sam Party playing this. This has a very tempo y feel to it, so. And now we wait. Hootie and the Blowfish. Uh, there is an Esper control deck in Modern. There's like a, there's like a, I mean, you can just throw all the blue, the, the best blue, white, and black control cards into a deck and it would probably still be competitive in modern um hmm I don't hate this hand any one land in this hand is good we'll keep it we also get a 2-3 on turn 1 and uh, if we have any way to get rid of this if we draw another fetch land we can just play this uh oh we want a breeding pool here yeah, that was a good draw So next turn we can get uh, Stomping Ground. We can play Narnum Renegade and then keep up Lightning Bolt for this champion. Sure. I will block. Oh, no. No attacks, huh? Oh, look at all these lands we're drawing. This is good times. I think we just kill this guy. I think we just lightning bolted and play Narnum Renegade number two. <laughs> My fast forward isn't working. It's it becomes very apparent very quickly who uh who watches a lot of the YouTube videos. So if you guys are watching on YouTube, feel free to press those like and subscribe buttons. Both of those are awesome and make me feel good about my life choices to play Magic the Gathering for you guys. I guess we're gonna go to 14 here. We want the red now.
Next turn we can go Stranger Geist and Rapid Hybridization Stranger Geist, which is pretty strong. An Aether Vial. Huh. I feel like we're in great shape here. I think we just get the forest here and don't care about that. I want to be able to play things here. All right. I feel like we're in good shape. I think we said that, but I think I just wanted to emphasize that I feel like we're in good shape. I think it just... It bears repeating. I can't even make a bears joke here because they're all two threes, not two twos. I could have been like, the bears repeating and then hovered over all the bears, but there's no bears joke here to be had. Um. Hmm. I can see taking out one Pongify for a magma spray. Can see taking out a spell pierce, but I mean they're probably gonna collected company, I would assume. If they're collected company, the spell is probably just better, right? Like I don't think they have any non-creature spells that aren't instants. Don't keep pounding rhythms to the brain. La -da 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 -da. Let me see. Let me see if I can get a... Oh, there's no company. There's just either Vial. Either Vial is their only... Yeah, okay. So we're just going to take out all of them because that's silly. So it's literally just creatures, I guess. I don't think Ancient Grudge is good enough. A Braid is probably good enough. Don't care about this. Don't care about this. Don't care about this. I don't think life goes on is good enough. Eight, eight life, is that good enough? I don't know. I don't think so. I will bring in a braid. So we're bringing in a braid and magma spray and taking out the two spell pierces, which seems fine. Why would we have blood moon in the sideboard? That doesn't even make any sense, Sarah. Why are you the way that you are? Well, I can't say I'm a fan of this hand. I think if this is a fetch land, it would be a much different hand. Okay. I think this is fine. I don't think we need a fourth land here. I guess we'll get one anyway. Cloudfin Raptor does not seem as powerful as Champion of the Parish, but they also didn't have a turn one play, which is interesting. Human, human. Do you have a one drop that you just chose not to play on turn one? Mayor of App. Okay. I like Young Wolf being able to just block random things. And then level up our, our raptors. And if we draw any of our Pongify effects, it's real good. I also like the Dryad Arbor levels these guys up. That's pretty cute. <laughs> Top Giraffe, congrats on your first day too, buddy. Well done. Oh, that's a big thing. Oh, Vigilance, how nice. 
I actually don't know how to beat that. Hmm. Intriguing. I guess we can double block. Yeah, double block works. They don't have path to exile, do they? No, is it static caster is a little scary out of the board, but we want to keep the Misty Rainforest for uh Revolt shenanigans. No, still a bird mutant. Well, that is unfortunate because we were hoping to double block and now we cannot. Yep, seems good. I mean, if we draw Pongify, we get to survive, I guess. Really? That's your... Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Yeah, 4-4 four, four Vigilant Flyers are kind of a problem. They can't really attack with both, though, which is why I don't know why you didn't just make this a Thalia's Lieutenant. Yep, if you just attack with one, we're just taking it. Like, that's a weird choice. Alright, I think we're just dead here. Like, we have to jump block next turn. We can't go to two. We just can't get through these guys. That's always a little frustrating. I'm just going to assume you have another Thalia's Lieutenant in hand. If the deck hasn't won by turn five, it's I, I would assume it's losing, yeah. Yeah, we're done here. Alright, well these might be quick matches, so we'll see. Um I wonder if Unified Will is any good here. I don't I don't know. Like Vapor Snag would have been great, Lightning Bolt would have been great. We definitely have answers. I think our deck is fine. I think we had a little bit clunky of a draw there. Uh, yes. Can we not mulligan here? I think we can go Young Wolf and then Pongify it. I'm going to keep this hand. It's a little rough. Any one land, it makes it a very, very good hand. Let's Breeding Pool here. Like, a stomping ground would be amazing. Then we can play everything in our hand. And we still have mana for Vapor Snag and Pongify and Rapid Hybridization. Young Wolf number dose. Okay. I never, no, I never mess with the the Jim the Jim Davis Ashiok deck again. I just don't have time to, like, there's so many decks in modern, and I have to play like a new, a new one each week that I just don't have time to really focus on one deck. Unfortunately, I think you asked me that before, actually. Heroic Intervention is actually surprisingly good. It does a lot of things. I'm just going to pass here, and because I want to Pongify before I want to play another Young Wolf. If we draw another land, we can also go Young Wolf Rapid Hybridization in the same turn.
Also, if they attack, it's kind of a blowout. Nope. They're just casting another Noble Hierarch. Okay. Land. Oh, why aren't you a land? I don't understand. Sarah, like I said in the Discord, my, my findings were that both of the decks are just very good. Like, either if you're playing blue merfolk or blue-green merfolk, um, I think they're both strong enough to, to compete. Like, I didn't find that one was actually stronger than the other. The mana base is, like, your mana is so good that it's it's almost inconsequential, so it just depends on which cards you like better. Uh, Mike is working. Mike does not, Mike does not live in the same room as me at all times. I just get that question so frequently that it's like, I do have my own stream, guys. Um... Oh, you're targeting the frog. Okay, I thought you were targeting the Thalia's lieutenant. I was like, that's a weird choice. Sure. Second land would be nice here. Also, me and Mike are probably going to be streaming later, so. But if it's before, like, 7 p.m. Eastern time, Mike is probably going to be at work. Like, dude, he has his own life. Like... Large Brandon, why did I why did I mod you, buddy? All right, BFF status is confirmed. Is it possible for them to stop playing things? Because that would be great. One land. Let me rapid hybridization and vapor snag something. What are you naming here? Narnum Renegade. Okay. That's fine. I guess we just pass here. Hmm. Hmm. How fitting. I'm a big fan of the turn four Aether Vial. That is a that is a good one. Sure. Oh, you're bouncing the good one? That's sad. This Dahlia's Lieutenant. Like, I don't even want to bounce this Dahlia's Lieutenant anymore because it's just super bad. <laughs> okay, sure. Oh, man. Good times, good times.
Oh, we could have rapid, but it would still die. It had a, it had a counter on it. It's already it's already a two two, so it just goes to the graveyard. We just trade a two two for a three three. I'd rather just replay it and kill it again. We have double rapid hybridization effects in hand. I mean, we could rapid hybridization this stupid Thalia's lieutenant. We could also man, we can't even abrade. We can we can vapor snag this guy and play Narnum Renegade, which is actually pretty good. Alright, not bad, not bad. Stupid Jawa, oh my god. I have not seen you in lo a long time. 28 months in a row, that is ridiculous. Deals damage equal to target player with the number of humans you control. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we're dead. Cool. So we take six, go to two. We block two dudes. We take at least... Well, we take one, I guess, but we're still dead. Like, we can't deal them ten. Like, there's no way we're coming back from that, so... All right, the 5-0 dream is dead. Not too long into the stream, about 22 minutes in, and we have... Uh, Killed the 5 0 dream, unfortunately. Oh, that um, that deck list is not correct. Why have you had two dinners so far? That's not okay. Man, these 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 cues have been taking quite a while to uh to fire. Shini, I'm updating the deck right now, so Okay, deck should be updated, so Two minutes in the queue, boy. Although I don't know why MTG bot is lagging with the Three minutes later, let's... Oh, did he actually respond in private? Is that what happened? That's super interesting. I didn't know that. I didn't know it did that.
Oh, this hand is pretty good. Sanctum into Experiment 1 into Narnum Renegade. I will keep. I actually want one more land so I can Strangling Geist and Pongify. This guy. In Path to Exile? I dare you. No? Okay. You don't have to. I understand. Rapido Hybridization. Um, I want to play Strangerer Geist, but I also like the trigger off of Narnum Renegade here. I guess we can wait. I think Geist is just better here. If we draw another fetch land, it's real good. This guy's never resolved. Oh, remand it. No, sure, whatever you gotta do. Seems fine. So if I have a 2-2 Evolve creature on the battlefield and I Pongify a Strangler Geist, the Strangler Geist will come back as a 3-2 and I'll get a 3-3 out of it. So... I think you can stack it in such a way that it would see the... Th I think so. Look at these beautiful Jeskai lands. This is the time I want a land. Eh, it's not a land. This is where it comes into play and trigger on the stack, you electrolyze both. Sure. Yeah, I think you just have to make sure to stack the 3-3 uh, the three, three on the bottom of the 3-2. The Actually, I don't think it would work. So if it's a 2-2 two, two and it sees the 3-2, it's going to evolve because it has higher toughness. So it'd be a three, it, would, it would become a 3-3 three, three from the 3-2. Then when it sees the 3-3, three, three, the 3-3 three, three is not going to put it up to a 4-4 four, four because it doesn't have a higher power and toughness. Yeah, that's not going to work that way, unfortunately. Alright, let's see if our third Strangler Geist finally gets the job done. I guess not. Okay. Uh, of course. You've had an answer for every single card, and uh, it's, that's good. That's good. Having a good time. Is magic ever fun? Am I just not having fun with magic? Is that what it is? You can tell you're being a you're, you can tell you're actually a terrible aggressive deck when your opponent is attacking with their two three and they don't care about your creatures. Oh, 
Ha. This is frustrating. All of our stronger geists are dead. It might just be control. Maybe that's the case. I hope that's correct. Daddy Cube, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Salt High Brood. Are you going to counter my draw too? Sad. I don't even think we play this. It's a 1-2. We miss out on a point of damage. And, like, I don't... I want this to have a counter because it's just so much better for Avatar of the Resolute. So if we draw, like, a fetch land or something, like... Wow. Sure. So I guess we go to five here. Pretty sure a rapid hybridiz hybridizationing the spell queller. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, the old double cryptic command. Sure. Go to one. So we should have played Renegade first. Actually, Renegade first would have made this a 2-2 and the Stranger Guys wouldn't have changed combat. So we can just play Renegade here, I guess. We have to keep up Ponga 5 for the Celestial Colony, unfortunately, but... Mm. Sergeant Kidder, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Salt Eye Brood. Look at this idiot. And by idiot, I mean Celestial Colonnade. How could we have blocked Colonnade? What am I missing? That doesn't seem accurate. <laughs> I don't think we have any flyers. Lightning Bolt. Cloudfin Raptor. Okay. I 
Oh, sure, but it would have been... I guess that's true. I guess we could have blocked with the 4-3. It's a weird ability. I'm surprised we're not dead. Regenerating there does nothing but uh, <laughs> keep their 3-3. I mean, if we attack with Geist, we're just literally throwing it away. I don't think that's great. Well, that's never getting played. We just have no way to get past the colony either. So if they can just sit behind their colony, they're in great shape and we're not. I wish this guy had vigilance, so at least they'd have to block, but I guess we can I guess we can Cloudfin Raptor, but like they have so much removal to kill a Cloudfin Raptor, so it's like I mean Stranger guy still Evolves Cloudfin Raptor. Like, that's not untrue. Yeah, I think we have to attack. Anything that kills this is also going to kill this, I guess. But now they only need one removal spell, which I'm sure they have, so. Attacking with Geist seems terrible because they just activate Colonnade and block it. Doesn't really do much. And we're just waiting for them to kill Cloudfin Raptor so we can scoop. <laughs> yep. Yep, that'll do. I mean, the problem is we just, yeah, we just can't sit back and not attack, so. All right. Vapor Snag seems pretty rough. I'd rather just have uh, Dispels for obvious reasons. Everything else seems good. Oh, what up, Chris? Well, this hand is pretty rough. Any one land hand is pretty rough, but then you have only you only have 19 lands in the deck, so like Like I just don't think we're getting there on one young wolf. I mean, at least here we have Pongify and Young Wolf. Um Yeah, that's fine. I think that's good enough. Yeah, eight life against burn is pretty good. I guess we're going to play a raptor here. Our only hit against artifacts is like a braid and ancient crud, right? Which seems fine. I mean, you have to consider that like 
a card like Chalice of the Void on one basically turns our deck off. So you kind of want to be able to deal with Chalices, I imagine. Something that I can play. Stranger of Geist would be okay. The problem is if they Lightning Bolt our Young Wolf in response to Pongify. I think that's actually still fine. And it didn't happen. Okay. What is the, what are the odds of this guy resolving? Probably zero, right? Oh. I see. Oh, we have two turns until you're able to uh Supreme Verdict. So it is also pouring outside, so You also don't have double white yet, which is uh not terrible. Don't be a land. This is 13 damage. Like, we're one damage away from just killing them. Do I care about that? I think so. I mean, they block here five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, they chose their own cryptic command. Okay. All right. I guess no white source followed by... Uh, well, alright, so white source... Alright, so I assume you're going to Cryptic Command then if you're not actually Supreme Verdicting here. That's pretty insane, alright. Got him. Oh, nice top deck. It was a nice top deck. Unified Will is just a hard counter as well. I wonder if that's better than anything. Oh my god, I'll tumble for you. Wow, that was an old that's an old meme. I'm gonna take one Narnum ready to get out for one Unified Will. Wow, that's an old meme, dude. That's a tumble magnet meme. That's an old TCG player tumble magnet meme. That is hilarious. This hand would be great if it had any creatures whatsoever. <laughs> oh, I don't think we can keep the double rapid, double spell pierce, chart of course hand. Although two lands is pretty good. I 
Oh, that's a good that's a good one. I will put you on top. This hand just got remarkably better. It's not about whether you'll win or lose. It's about how many of your own creatures you turn into apes. Or frog lizards, for that matter. Do I want this as a 1-1, one, one, a 1-2? One, I don't think we have the luxury of not playing it as a 1-2. I think we just have to play it. I feel like we have to maximize all the damage in this deck, but... I don't know. This feels like a bad matchup, but who knows? I wish this had evolved. That'd be great. I wish this resolved. That'd be great. Neither of those are going to happen, though. Oh. Huh. Well, I'll be. Huh. What's happening right now? Lightning Helix? I actually didn't realize that rhymed until right now. God, my rhymes are so fat I don't even realize they're happening. What are you doing right now? You took two. Just Snapcaster for no value? Trade? Yes, the, the Switch profile pick definitely looks like I'm shooting myself in the head with it. What? Deal. Uh, if you attach, if you if you uh, connect your Twitch account and your Discord account, then you get to join the subscriber Discord channel, which is awesome. What up, Polygos? Oh, the double, the double opt. Good lord. That op desperation is real. We can chart a course here. That's pretty good. Really? Really? I think we're going to be charting a course. And I guess hoping you don't have Spell Snare. No, you didn't have it. I got to draw two cards. Better get me one of those discords then. I, I can I can confirm that it's a solid choice. It's mostly just a chat client, like a gaming chat client. And uh, when you connect your accounts, you'll get an invitation for the Twitch channel. And uh, there's usually at least like 15 people in there at any given time. It's pretty sweet. I'm a fan. Oh, they missed a fourth land drop? For real? I'm going to play this guy out now because if they try to kill our Stranger guys, that it'll evolve. And if they kill it pre-combat, then we still get to attack with a 3-2, so... Oh, you're going to do a thing. Huh. I see. Well, we're definitely pongifying, as you can imagine. 
I'm going to let you cast this, though, so it's no longer in your graveyard, and you also don't have Counterspell mana up, so... Feeling good. Um, meh, just regenerate, I guess. <laughs> That's weird that you would you would kill that guy, not the ape. That seems like an oversight. Kill you. Kill you. Kill me. K for always. There's no way. Do you have another lightning bolt? Of course you do. Give me a creature that can evolve this guy. That is the exact opposite of a creature that can evolve this guy. We could Pongify our Strangover Geist, make a 2-2, two, two, a 2-2, two, two, and a 3-3. Three, three. If we Pongify our Experiment 1, we have a 3-2, three, a 3-3, three, three, and a 2-2, two, two, which is probably better. Or we can just not Pongify anything. You don't have Pongify in your hand. You have Rapid Hybridization, Frank. Oh, all right. That's a good point. I didn't think about that. Now we will Rapid Hybridization. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven. If we draw any creature that evolves these guys, which I don't know what it could be. Well, it's not that guy, that's for sure. I feel like we just keep Cloudfin Raptor. I mean, if they hit land Supreme Verdict, that's pretty bad. No fourth land for them is pretty brutal. I imagine there's at least one cryptic command in their hand. That's a dude. Pay cost. Snapcaster into lightning bolt. <laughs> Bolt here, block here, and then we kill you, I think. Yep. So now I will Pongify this guy. Makes your blocks increasingly worse. Doesn't matter anyway. Ooh, got him. Nearly at. That's great, man. Congrats, buddy. I'm glad you're not restricted to the phone. 
I don't know what this means. Oh, that would have been great. All right. Got him. Nearly at, are you in Puerto Rico, buddy? Because if so, I think maybe I knew that. Axel, what's going on, buddy? Oh, that's perfect. I had no idea. Now I know. I don't think I ever knew that was you. Oh my god, dude. It's got to be so great to be able to actually watch, like anything on a PC at this point. Aardvark, if anyone, if anyone wants to see the deck we're playing, you can just hit uh, exclamation mark deck, deck list, or list, I believe. Any combination, and it'll show you the deck we're playing, so... I can also just pull it up right here. You guys can see it here. Uh, but okay, I can only imagine. Like, how long was it? How long were you without power? Like, it had to be like three months, right? I don't love this hand, but I don't hate it. Hundred and thirty four days is unreal to me. That's four months, man. Oh, probably run the same yeah, like maybe like a week or two after than after I lost power, because that would be It would yeah, that would be it was just, it was the same exact time frame. The problem is we want blue and red and green, and we if we don't want to get like well, there's no steam vents in the deck, so we're not getting that. I don't like this hand. Do we mull this hand? I actually don't even know. September 6th, that's insane. Yeah, that's like four, that's over four months. That's, that's nearly five months ago. That's ridiculous. All right, I'll keep this hand. Daddy Cube is too quick. Let's let's play experiment one here. We'll get a red because I think it's it's easier to get blue in the deck. I don't know if that's true. I think I just made that up. I mean, I, for one, want to apologize on behalf of everyone in the United States because uh, you guys have been treated absolutely horrendously uh, throughout this whole ordeal. And, uh, you know, not going to point any any fingers. Um, but I think it's... Oh, that was a good draw. <laughs> um, I think there's definitely... Something blame could be placed upon, perhaps. Someone, maybe. But, I mean, yeah, Puerto Rico is still not having 45%, 45% of the people not having power, and power being out for four and a half months is just not even a reasonable thing. Elon, I was literally going to mention both Elon Musk and what Alan said. That's hilarious. Uh, I think we just have to bolt this idiot. I'm sorry, Thalia, I didn't mean to call you an idiot, but...
Yeah, I was like, wow, it's great that Elon Musk has been doing something at least. That's pretty good. Can Elon Musk just be the president? That's bold, isn't it? That's a bold thing to say. <sighs> this is like my least favorite thing ever to happen in modern is where you just play Leon Arbor and ghost quarter me out of the out of the game. Oh, we can't even search. Holy smokes. I was actually just going to get a red. That's miserable. Yeah, we should play Dryad Arbor so we have two. I actually totally forgot. I totally, I literally, I'm, as I'm complaining about this, I forget about its ability. It's the ability I forget about most of all on, on Magic Online because it's like the... It's the most least intuitive ability. Sure. You're gonna path my guy now, aren't you? Yeah. I'm having a good time. Our whole deck is fetch lands. Like, we just actually can't win at this point, unfortunately. Unless we naturally draw a steam, a stomping ground or a... Yep, that young wolf would have been pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. I would never imply that Magic Online is badly programmed. I would never do that. I guess we can actually attack with this guy, or attack with this guy. When they block, we can Pongify our Dryad Arbor to evolve, trade. I don't know if that's good, though. Winks intensify. <laughs> Billy, 5 0 standard. What were you playing? Send me your list, buddy. If it's if it's cool anyway. I don't want any I don't want any uncool decks. Wow, this is bold. Was it similar to the deck you were playing yesterday? This is a lot of uh, Leon and Arbors. Give me one more land that I can play. Just one more. It's, all, it's something I'm asking for a lot here. All right, well. I don't think we're dead yet. Like, they have two cards, we have four cards. I'm not a big fan of these idiots, but at least our guys are on point. Hey, fat decks need love too. What does that even mean? Are you guys fat shaming decks in the in the oh, come on, dude? No, I don't want to I don't have 6 mana magic online. You know I don't have 6 mana. The old triple lean and arbor, double path to exile draw. That's a good one. Solid draw. <laughs> I mean, we'll just keep drawing uh, Strangler Geist, I guess. I guess they'll just see if they path again. See if they got the three path, three lean and arbor to draw. That's even better, but I imagine they would have done it last turn if they did. Uh, we kept red up over blue because we actually don't have red. This is a wooded foothills. So we can't keep up colors that we don't have. Wow, that was a good draw. Ah, we're not having a good time. We can actually Pongify one of these. Pay two, fetch this, Lightning Bolt one. I mean, that's gonna we're going to go down to two life, though, if we do that, so I'm not thrilled about it. Plus 
Blade Spicer was surprisingly bad for us there. We can't bolt Blade Splice. We don't have red. Why do you guys keep thinking we have red mana? I'm dumb, Dad. Don't hit me. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So we take two here. I think this is fine. Restoration Angel. Yep, that puts the game way out of way out of, way out of reach. We just can't do anything about that. All right, cool. Magma Spray, you come in. Spell Pierce, you come out. A Braid can come in. I will play first. Hmm. If we had another land, this hand would be amazing. Because we can go turn one, experiment one, turn two, crack, Narnum, Renegade, turn three, Avatar. You can most definitely post the picture of the deck list. Billy, did you go 5-0 in a league with this deck? Because that seems awesome, dude. Look at all those four drops, just like we discussed. Uh, I think it's still experiment one. I think we can keep this hand. Oh, because I can see because you have eight treasure chests and 80 play points. That's awesome, dude. Well done. Fetch land. Hmm, lightning bolt. Okay. Sure. Should have waited, but if we waited, it wouldn't have a counter, so it's like, eh. Red mana. That is a red mana. Moonscone, 20 bones. Thank you so much for telling you to do something you can't in a world where playing games on stream means people talk to you like you're capable of doing something you can't. I'm sorry. Also, wow, cute doggo gif. <laughs> Wait, what was the cute doggo gif? Did I miss it? Did I miss the doggo gif? Was there a doggo gif? What's going on right now? I, am I blacking out? I 
Interesting. I wonder if that's because I have a GIF. So I wonder if it like overrides the other GIF. I'll look into that and make sure that we can see the doggo GIF. I'm going to look into it right now, actually. Oh, I saw the doggy. Okay, cool. Interesting. So how did some people see it? Maybe Iron Chef Sammy is just a wizard. You're a wizard, Sammy. Oh, look, it's a little bird baby. They only have two cards. Did they mulligan this game? Oh, they went to five? Oh, that feels good. No offense, opponent. No, oh, none taken. Let's chart a course. I'm just gonna keep killing myself, apparently. Apparently, I'm not playing any tournaments. What's going on, Go uh, uh, MTG Bot? You have been lagging, my friend. All right, let's look at alerts. Look at some donations. Let's look at donation alerts. Donation gifts. Enabled. Enabled, enabled. Oh, during. Okay, cool. This gift will replace your alert image. Okay, so now it was... I had it listed as before, so it might have actually come up before the other... The, the Mark Rosewater gift. So now I'm going to have during. Which means, I guess it replaces the Mark Rosewater gift if you guys have your own gift that you want to put up for a donation. Cool. God, Streamlabs is so good. Uh, no blocks. I'll take one. I'm a simple man. I see a cute dog and I click. Mm-hmm. So they're going to go score our stomping ground. We're going to actually kill this guy in response. We don't actually have another basic, so it doesn't even matter at this point. Sure, I'll use the ability. Nope, don't have any lands. All right. Hmm. This is actually going to be pretty good. Sarah, are you bro are you breaking things? Is that what's happening right now? It does seem like we're going off a little bit. <laughs> I mean, against this deck especially, because they have two lands and uh, there's no threat of them wiping the board. So it's like it's always great playing against decks where you're like, okay, I know you're not just gonna sweep the board, so. Well, that's cute. We could actually play Narnum Renegade. We could actually Pongify this Narnum Renegade. And then play the other Narnum Renegade. Hmm. 
You guys are making a mess over here. Deck, deck, deck list, and list are supposed to take you to um, the pace bin. Look, I hit deck list, and there it is. It takes you to pace bin, right? And then you can see the deck I'm playing. So super easy. I don't know. I don't know what. What? Why isn't it working for you guys? I don't know what to do here, though. They're at eight. List deck is not a command. Duck list should be. Duck. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Why are you all like this? And by that, I mean wonderful. I don't know what to do here. I guess we can just play this, right? Like, it doesn't matter. I think this is better. So we make it 3-3 three, three, and we add plus one plus one to the Narnum Renegade. So it's four power on the board for essentially two cards, I guess. I don't know. All right. Let's just hope we can dodge that nonsense again. Wow, Doug Trio. That's a good one. Wow, Deck Chris. All right, we're having a good time here. Ooh, this hand is possibly our best hand yet. I wish we didn't have our forest in it because that's bad. I'm okay, Dad. I'm okay, Dad. I might like that better. No, we can evolve this guy sooner. Oh, we did it as a sorcery so we can actually cast the Narnum Renegade with a plus one plus one counter for revolt. Ah, oh, displacer, eh? So next turn we can go Cloudfin Raptor and Strangler Geist, which is pretty good for us. Displacer, I barely know her. Oh god. Thought knots here? Oh, just that guy. Hmm. Oh my god, I hate that card so much. Never fails. Literally never fails. Every single time. Sure. Because it's the most unintuitively designed card in Magic Online. No other card works this way. No card makes you click on this. I would have rather paid two, got my land, and played a Cloudfin Raptor last turn and had a blue on board now. It's the most unintuitive card on Magic Online. No in, no other card acts like that in the in the client. There's no other card you have to click on before you do something in order for that thing to happen. Sure. Scooby Dooby Doo, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Q 
Cool. Now we have all our things. I guarantee you this has a not 0% reason that this is actually why the deck does significantly better online than it does in real life. Because no one ever does this in real life. No one's going to crack their fetch and be like, oops, didn't pay. This is where they just Eldrazi displace or lock us? Sure. In real life, no one's going to be able to do that. Like, you're not going to be able to make someone... Pay. I don't even have another land, so whatever. If you crack your fetch, put it in the graveyard, and then you tap two mana, no one's going to be like, sorry, you physically didn't tap your land quick enough. Like, no, that's not how magic works. Like, no one's going to... Like, it's not a game of physical dexterity where, like, if you can call someone on something before they're... If you're faster than they can actually physically tap their lands, you don't get to do it. Like, that's just not how that works. cool all right well this is a fun match where i lost to a literal technical discrepancy it was not was not good game unfortunately but uh no no offense to my opponent he didn't do anything wrong but it is a completely shitty interaction that doesn't is not intuitive and uh causes you to lose games that you otherwise wouldn't lose because no other mechanic conditions you to do a certain thing that way there is no other card in the format that you have to click on before you take an action that you Default take almost every turn. Like, and this is it, this wouldn't be an issue for me, but this is, this has been an infuriating problem with the client, and I have been against it for probably years now. I remember going on a rant about how this just is just terribly programmed. Every other card, every other card in the client prompts you and it says, would you like to pay two to search? And it's such a, it's the most gotcha mechanic in Magic Online. Lead and Arbiter is the most gotcha card in the entire client. Yeah, if someone is insisting you pay before you crack, that dude is a, literally a rules lawyering jerk. And, uh, probably just not uh not a very friendly person to play against because that is not how that works anyone who cracks their fetch and says oops i'm supposed to pay two if you're if you're their opponent and you don't let them pay two you're kind oh, come on man Yeah, these matchups have not been ideal for us, unfortunately. Wow. You like a little kid complaining of the controlly on the arcade. Sorry, dude. Is the game like it is? You not complabbing about Moto, but about magics. Okay. I had not considered that. Fair point. I have a land handful of one drops. Wow. 
why would I crack the fetch holding control? The point is it 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 contradicts the mechanics in magic that you're already used to to doing. Like magic online customizes you. This is this is how user interface works. Like you're you're literally trying to like go against great user interface. User interface gets you familiar with with repetitions. You can do a thing and you'll know exactly how it works, right? You'll say, "Oh, okay, cool." So we're just we can't beat this, right? Like this is just a lock. I don't actually think we have any enchant removal in the sideboard. I think of Ancient Grudge and a, a Braid. So... Can we use the word cuck less in the chat? Because that is a real stupid word. And it just... Isn't pleasant. Alright. Fun games of magic in modern... I'm just taking all the lightning bolts and the vapor snags out. Bring in, uh... <laughs> yeah, this has been less than ideal. Uh, let's bring in Unified Will, Ancient Grudge. Uh, probably just better than a Braid at this point, right? And actually, Rejection is probably pretty good. Okay, so my point about user interface is that I'm, I'm thank you for uh, appreciate you actually letting me uh, explain it. But my point is like you put things in the same place. Magic: The Gathering as a game is a game of repetition, right? Like you play a land every turn, you attack every turn, you draw a card every turn. Like it's to a point where I play Magic Online so much I can just click through without uh, knowing. What, what what phase I'm in and I'll know what phase I'm in right like I can I can hit whatever like I I knew what this yes was before even I never have to read would you like to play first I know the first one is yes and I can cover it right now and, and I'll know the next one's gonna be Mulligan okay cool and so the thing about user interface is that it conditions you to do certain things the same way every single time because that's efficient. Like that's what you want. Out of a user interface, you want efficiency. You want someone to not have to read everything every single time. You want it to you want that person to be able to intuit what's going to happen before it happens. Like that's why the X is in the upper right hand corner of every window, even if it's not a Windows window. Like that's why this is here. This 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 like minimize, maximize, and close. These are the same on every window you're gonna find on Windows. Like it just um, it, it, it's that's what you want, right? So when you have this single interaction on Magic Online that that breaks that 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 changes your into your intuition, it changes everything uh, because no other card, not one single card out of like the thirty thousand cards on Magic, work that way. It it doesn't make sense. Like it's it's completely frustrating because you're not used to that interaction like i'm used to clicking on a fetch land and then if i need to do something like pay two for this ability to resolve the way it's supposed to i can pay two but when i have to click on something before cracking a fetch land an interaction that you do probably 10 times a game in modern 10 times a match let's say uh it's not intuitive it's poorly designed and like you can make the argument that it's a different effect. It has it has to do with Magic: The Gathering and not not Magic Online. Sure, you can make those arguments, but if it's ruining the user experience, it's poorly designed. That's the bottom line. If you're making your customers, your audience base frustrated with these abilities, 
it's poorly designed. Like that's that's all it comes down to. It is raining pretty heavily. All I did was say not use the the word cuck. That's all I said. Like it's not like it's. I didn't think it was that big of a deal, right? Like why are we? Right, you can control sack the fetch land. Of course you can. Because you still have time to do something, right? You still have time to respond. The point is no one does that, right? So in, like you said, not that it resolves your point. It doesn't. Because it's still like, okay, cool. I can I can do that. I can, in, in order to fix this non-intuitive interaction, I can do another non-intuitive reaction or, uh, you know, I interaction. And it's just like, well, all right, sure. Suppression field. Sure. See, like, here's the here's the funny thing. If I play Wooded Foothills, watch this. I'll just do it. Watch this. Here's a Wooded Foothills. Let's crack it. Pay two. Wow, look at that. <laughs> now, here's the thing. With Leon and Arbiter, you're still able to crack the fetch land even if you don't pay the two, right? So instead of saying pay two, it could say yes or no. If I say no, I don't get to search. If I say yes, I can pay and search. It's the same result, only I'm not having this gotcha feeling. Right? Like, that's simple, right? Like, it's funny, because Suppression Field is the exact perfect analogy. Like, it does make the ability cost more, but it gives you a chance to actually pay it. My problem isn't that, like, Leon and Arbiter is making you pay too. Like, that's obviously the effect. My problem is that at the point you have to, to, to work around it is not a point in Magic the Gathering online that you ever have to do anything else. That's my point. Hmm. I'm going to crack this and I am going to pay two. And then I'm going to get my thing. Oh, that's a good one. I'm actually going to play Windswept Heath, or I'm going to play Forest first and use the uh, the Forest for Charter Course. Because I want to keep up both red and blue here in case, depending on what we draw. All right. I like it. I don't like the Narnum Renegade because, well, that's just bad. I wish we had one more power on board. <laughs> Ruined Halo on Narnum Renegade is pretty good, especially when we drew another Narnum Renegade. I made us. That's per yes. That you. Thank you. The, the, you. We. Ha I love that we just came to an agreement. You and I are now on the same page, and it's great. 
Also, for never having taken an English class, your English is great, by the way. Yeah, like I don't have a like, like I said, I have no problem with the card. I think Leonard Arbiter is a fantastic card. It just leads to a lot of like gotcha. Like it leads to a lot of those moments in in Magic Online play, and it's just not fun. As you can tell, because we're talking about it like a whole match later, you know. But I think it's worth talking about. Like I think it's an interesting it's an interesting discussion on user interface. Uh oh, here we go. What is this? I just let this happen, right? I don't care about this. Sure. It's, it's really simple how you better... You don't have to better word the card. You just make it so that... I literally pointed out with Suppression Field. You have a box come up that says, Would you like to pay two? If you hit yes, then you pay the two and you search like normal. If you say no, you don't get to search. It's that simple. Whenever a search effect comes up, uh, if it's the first time that you've paid the, paid the, the, the effect... I don't know what's going on. This is a weird... I mean, it gets you two clues, so it basically costs two... So, this is a four-mana tormenting voice that gets you two clues. What? Is it just better to play tormenting voice for two? Like, you already saved. Give me a lightning bolt. Give me one lightning bolt. I took him out, so it doesn't matter. All right, put you to put you three and have one counter spell. I mean, I guess you have. Yeah, I might actually clip this uh, this Leon and Arbiter rant and put it on on YouTube by itself. I mean, obviously, going to put the video on the the magic. The modern Monday is going to go up on. I'll, I'll put this up tomorrow on YouTube, so it can be modern Monday. But um, what in the earth is going on? Yeah, just keep playing those. That's fine. You're dead to this ape, right? Okay, all right. We didn't have to use our unified will. All right. I really do wish I had more enchantment removal. This, we've seen like zero targets for this. We've seen, we want this for things like Chalice of the Void. We have Ancient Grudge. I guess we can take out one like Pongify. For like another Ancient Grudge. I don't know. I want to have the Ancient Grudges, like to be able to kill... It's pretty relevant that we are able to kill a chalice. Well, Arbiter is not an activated ability. Like, that's not an activated ability. And act activated abilities are defined as abilities that have a colon after them. This hand is good. And we do have the grudge. Oh, we can go turn one experiment, turn one. Oh, turn one raptor into turn turn two experiment into turn. This hand is actually great as long as they don't go turn one chalice. Okay, we, we, we did it. You do have to activate it, but that doesn't make it an activated ability. Activated abilities are very clearly defined in, in Magic. If something says counter an activated ability, you can't counter them paying two to ignore the ability. 
Like, I know that you think activating abilities, activated ability is not the same as an ability that you activate. Those are not the same. Activated ability is a clearly defined term in the game of magic. Which just means you can't call anything that you activate an activated ability because it, it refers to a specific thing. Uh, ancient grudge is better than a braid because they have no creature. They have no creatures. <laughs> so ancient grudge is just two of braids. Yep. That's what we were worried about, but It is also rude. You're you're not wrong. Yeah, and see, here's the thing. It says a special action, you can't respond to it, and you can do it in response to the things that you can't normally respond to, which is where you can actually put it as a, as a prompt that says, would you like to pay two? It's just, just a reminder that this ability is in play because it's really not intuitive. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop it. I'm going to stop talking about the stupid... Don't suppression field me, bro. So sad. I mean, we're just going to play it anyway. You. I feel like we're... Oh, man. Our, our hand was great. I'm really worried about the wrath of God that we have yet to see. I really want to play Cloudfin when we have Ceremonious Rejection. I think we're dead. <laughs> this feels really weird, dude. I just don't know what to play around. Like, do we play around Wrath? Do we play around uh, Solemnity? Experiment one. Oh, Unified will be gas. I don't think we can win this game. That's not bad.
I don't think I care about this. Oh, they have one card? Yeah, we care about this. One card in hand. All right, that was pretty good. Hmm. Five, six... I actually pongify the experiment one attack for a bunch. Three, four, nine. Oh, God, they still have like three turns. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I guess we just hope to dodge the last two cards, I guess. Oh, what up, Frank Loves Gutshot? Just don't be a Wrath of God. You're totally a Wrath of God. That's not a Wrath of God. Wouldn't mind some lands at this point. Can we just find an enchantment removal spell for Frexian Unlife? I guess not. They have Rune Halo on Experiment 1. That's why we got rid of the Experiment 1 instead of anything else on the board. I mean, we have this in two turns now. We can just attack with Avatar, attack with Avatar. If we can dodge two two spells, like they can, they can draw Chalice at this point, I don't care. They can draw another Unlife, I don't care. They can draw Suppression Field, I don't care. We want to dodge like Ensnaring Bridge, Ghostly Prison, Wrath of God things. Yeah, Solemnity is also pretty rough. And Snaring Bridge we can counter. Chalice on two. Honestly, I don't think we care about that. Young wolf, get out of my mind. All right, I'm just going to keep up. We don't need to play young wolf here. All right, they have one. One draw, one draw. I don't think Rugged Prairie was it. Unless they're literally just going to cast Enduring Ideal right now. Which I think they're going to do. <sighs> How perfect. The exact turn you need it. Get Solemnity. Never lose the game.
I feel like every time I play modern and I do modern videos, uh, the one thing I lament is people who don't put enchantment removal in their sideboard. And uh, so far that still holds true. I don't know why you would put something like uh, Ancient Grudge in the sideboard instead of something that also kills enchantments because... I don't know. Have you played Modern before? Like, there's a lot of enchantments that really mess up your day, including things like uh, Blood Moon, including things like... I don't know, all of those enchantments. So yes, as usual, if you guys are playing Modern and you're playing a stock list of some sort, please make sure you have some sort of way to deal with enchantments in a sideboard. Uh, I don't adjust sideboards before I play because they're not my decks, so I have no idea how they're going to work. So I just like to play them as is. Because I, I don't know what the deck does. Like, I don't know if someone built... Someone built the deck very specifically, right? So maybe they have ways to deal with enchantments. Maybe enchantments don't hurt them. I don't want to give the deck that much thought before I start playing it. Because someone else already did. So. Yeah, I mean, Nature's Claim is great. Um, obviously not going... Even, like... Not Nature's Claim, but the other one. The other three mana one. The one mana one that, that kills something that costs three or less. What's that one called? That one's great. That one kills most things in Modern that you care about. Wow, four lands, huh? And this then the same forest that we've drawn nearly every game. Um, sure. Okay. This is round five now. We are now 1-3, three, one, three, unfortunately. Someone went 5-0 with this list, and it's mind-blowing to me. I feel like we, we haven't really... like I, I'm very um, generous with my misplays. I, I know when I make misplays. I know it's frequent, uh, especially on Magic Online, because I'm usually streaming or making videos, and it's not easy to provide commentary and stream at the same time. It's very difficult, so... Uh, whenever people are like, oh, he's terrible, he's always misplaying on stream. Well, yeah, I'm also reading the chat, like, constantly, so... Um, but it always surprises me when a deck like this goes 5-0 because how are you doing that? I mean, this deck just seems arguably worse than humans, right? Like, I mean, the humans deck just seems like the creatures are naturally stronger. No, not Abrupt Decay. There's a one mana... I definitely did not mean Abrupt Decay. There is a one mana green card that destroys an artifact that costs three or less. An artifact or an enchantment that costs three or less. Oh, I see. We're just playing taking turns. Okay. Hmm. Natural state. There you go. Thank you. Nailed it. <sighs> I don't think we're going to be able to beat this deck. However, next turn we can go Cloudfin Raptor into Avatar and keep up Lightning Bolt. So I guess if we have one more turn, we're in... Sure. Ooh, did we just get Dryad Arbor here? Yes, we do. Well, that's not going to do anything.
Why do I get the feeling they have a vapor snag in hand? I'm going to assume they don't. So I can deal you seven here, or I can kill Jace. Put you to six, ten. Yeah, we have more than enough power on board to just kill you next turn anyway. Uh, I think we do care about Jace because it is one of their win conditions. So if they are able to chain time walks, they still have to find a win condition. Plus, it doesn't increase our clock any. Like, we still have lethal on board whether we kill Jace or not, so. Yep, time warp one. Temple bell. Oh, digging in main phase, eh? Okay. Time warp number two. Next turn, you're going to Snapcaster in time warp. Draws a card. I guarantee you have another. Let's see if you put on... Uh, yep, we're going to put the Temporal Master on the top, I'm sure. Yep. <laughs> oh boy. Everybody's having a good time. Three time warps. Okay. See, like, they don't have a win condition now. Jace would be at like 11 right now, and they could probably just kill us. You definitely want to, like, the deck has few win conditions, so you definitely want to get them off the win conditions when you can. Not sure it's going to matter. There you go. No buyback is pretty bad for us. Yep. Tap all creatures and draw a card. Weird. That seems just worse than bouncing something, right? Like bouncing the Dryad Arbor? I don't know, maybe it doesn't matter at all. You're small boys, oh my god. This is pretty tedious. Yep, all right, we're just done. I don't care anymore. Okay. I hate that I see a deck that went 5-0. I'm like, wow, this deck went 5-0. That's awesome. And then, like, we go 1-4, and you're just like, I don't know how you did that. Yeah, this deck was a blast to play, dude, but I don't know how I feel about it. Oh, I'll keep this hand. K 
can we keep the bolts in to end our own life once he starts? Unfortunately, we wouldn't be low enough. But I do like, I like where your head's at. Opt in response. Our life totals are relevant. We might as well be playing against Infect here. I appreciate you, Steve. You're you're a good dude. Let's get this guy. Next turn we can play Avatar. Like the like the James Cameron movie. Here we go. Oh, I guess we just win the game. Cool. Good game. <laughs> it's a good game. It's just so grindy, right? Like, I mean, it's just, you're like, oh, can I win before turn five? Maybe with this hand. It was a creepy wave, I agree with you. I don't even... Um, the problem here is we can play one Narnum Renegade now, or we can play two next turn off of... I think we go for the two next turn. No! No! We can... Oh, uh, we need another mana for that. We're going to play the one. Because we can always Young Wolf Pongify and Arnhem Renegade. Let's see how dead we are. When I play... Um, Hey, Abby, this is definitely live. Why would you think this isn't live? That's unbelievable. It's borderline offensive, Abby. Also, in case you didn't know, your boyfriend's screen name is Spread That Dookie Butter, and I think that's hilarious. Um, but it does, it does feel like something a girlfriend should be aware of, so... <laughs> so 
Sprit, I got you, buddy. Sorry about calling you out there, but it, I felt like it, it was necessary. That bell is real scary. Come on back, young wolf. Fetch land. Cloudfin raptor. <laughs> What's a dookie? <laughs> Grandma, stop listening. I'm on the phone. Is it just dry at our av avatar here? I guess that seems fine. Could also be Cloudfin Raptor, Dry at Arbor, Narnum Renegade, which actually might be better. I think that's better. I wish this got a counter, because then we'd actually get two counters, and then this guy would get another counter. Oh, that was a good draw. Alright, so we, we our death is next turn, right? That's when this happens. Let's get this old quickie. And we can always rapid hybridization this guy when they're doing their shenanigans. Here comes the old Giga Drouse. Big gigs, as they as they say. Mm-hmm. Can you do same target for all of them? I'd appreciate it. You know, just gigging. How you do? Nope, not the same? Okay. Nope, tapping my monkey? All right. Tapping that guy? Okay. Still get a point in. Don't care. You're not my dad. Can you imagine if they don't have a one of the one of the four time warps in their deck next turn? That's actually pretty good. Then we get to Strangaroo Geist, uh, Rapid Hybridization, and uh, that should be a lot of damage. Oh, we get to do it again next turn. I mean, they do have Cryptic Command as well, I imagine. I'm just going to do this now. I don't feel like you flipping that guy. If you if you don't manage to go off here, I think we're dead. But if you don't manage to go off, we do get to uh, at least keep our guys on board. Oh my god. We did give them a win condition, so they only need to take five turns now. <laughs> Mistakes may have been made? I don't know. I guess no, because their, their thing in the ice would have been on like two counters, and it would be on one counter after the walk the ends. So whatever spell they play this turn gives them a 7-7, seven, seven, which is... Okay, well, that's good. And of course you have the other time warp.
The problem is you're drawing four cards for every time warp effect. So I play time warp. I go to my next turn. I draw two cards for that turn and two cards for the turn I time warped. So on the next turn, I time warp again. I've drawn two cards that turn and I draw two cards the next turn. So you basically have four cards to hit every time warp and you have like 16 of them in your deck. You have walk the ends, time warp, temporal mastery, and maybe even something else. So. Here we go. Here we go. Really? <laughs> Please. Okay, we're done. Yep. All right, sweet. The old 1 4, a classic. 20 play points, guys. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Sorry about the record again. It seems like our, our our constructed records have not been great, unfortunately. Uh, that's what you get when you play these random, obscure Cloudfin Raptor decks in modern, I guess. But uh, it is what it is. Really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, feel free to slam those like and subscribe buttons if you guys enjoy the content. And I'll see you next time.